When working with capacitors, always keep in mind that charge is conserved. Charge conservation is one of the five conservation laws of the universe. And so in this case, we have a positive plate and a negative plate of the power supply, and that's going to feed charge to this side and um, likewise to the other side. And so we have a charge Q1 built up on this capacitor and a charge Q2 built up on that capacitor. Well, because charge is always conserved, I know that the total charge Q has to equal the charge on the first capacitor plus the charge on the second capacitor. Now, also we know, looking at this circuit, and for any circuit where elements are connected in parallel, that the voltage will be the same. And that's because this capacitor has a direct connection to the power supply, and so does the other one. So this side to the negative plate and the top side to the positive plate. So whatever voltage you have here, you have the same voltage here and here. And we can write that formally on the side here that the total voltage, that is the voltage of the power supply or battery, equals the voltage across the first capacitor and also equals the voltage across the second capacitor. Great. Um, let's, let's start our derivation of how we add capacitors in parallel. And I'll just rewrite the uh, fact that the total charge is equal to the the addition of the two charges on the, on the capacitors. And then we'll use some knowledge that we know about capacitors. Well, for capacitors, by definition, the total charge on the capacitor is equal to the voltage across the capacitor times its capacitance. And so if we plug that in here, we get that the total voltage times the total capacitance is equal to the voltage across the first capacitor times its capacitance plus the voltage across the second capacitor times its capacitance. But we know from right here that the voltages are all the same because they're connected in parallel. And so rewriting this here, we get Vc1 plus V2C2. And then if I factor out the V, I get V times C1 plus C2. And that's on the uh, left side, the total voltage times the total capacitance. And again, all the voltages are equal, so that total voltage is just simply V. And now all that's left to do is divide both sides by V. And cancel, 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 cancel. And we get our formula for how to add capacitors in parallel. When capacitors are in parallel, the total capacitance is just the addition of all the capacitors in parallel. And this proof can easily be done for more than two capacitors. In fact, it's valid up to an infinite number of capacitors in parallel. Great.